just a little video here of I uh, got the Cummins, uh, the 59 Cummins engine up into uh, the, the uh, engine stand. Um, just uh, got it bolted in, getting ready to uh, uh, start tearing it apart. I'll uh, get that injection pump off. Um, and then start pulling the cam and crank off out um, take some of these other things off you know the uh, air conditioning pump um, power steering pump stuff like that there's something wrong with that power steering pump so I got to take a look at it um, I think power steering fluid could have been some of the uh, fluid that was leaking under the truck I've talked about this before of how much oil and oil was underneath the truck sprayed out from it um, but I'm kind of thinking uh, power steering fluid could have been part of it but anyways uh, I'm going to start tearing the engine down I'll uh, probably get that P-pump off tomorrow and then uh, I'll work on getting the pistons out uh, the pistons got to be replaced uh, pulling the crank out, getting some new uh, bearings in there, just checking it out, making sure that uh, I'll mic out the crank journals and uh, um, the rods and stuff and make sure, um, you know, that they're within spec as far as uh, original bearings go. Um, the cam, he's now he's back again looking to have the cam replaced. Uh, um, probably get a Hamilton cam and uh, stick into it. We're going to get some uh, racing pistons and put in it. Um, new bearings. Um, he doesn't have the money to get a uh, good P-pump right now, so I might be taking a look at uh, um, putting some new springs in this P-pump see what's available what I can get um, I, I know that uh, these P pumps are kind of hard to find uh, parts for individual find parts for you can send them out to seems like that you can send them out to an injection pump um, rebuilding place but and and they seem to be able to get parts for them but um, I've tried looking for some parts on the internet now I haven't done an extensive search for them but I really haven't found a ran across any uh, good parts yet I mean I, you you can find uh, stiffer springs for uh, the injection pump, but you, it's, that's all about all I've found so far. But again, I really haven't done an extensive search on it, but I'm going to start tearing it apart. I uh, just kind of wanted to show you a video of it being up in the engine stand and the progress we've made on it so far. Um, but I'll bring you back when we continue. Okay, so here we are. I've got the engine tore down a little bit, uh, Got the pistons out, pulled the P pump off. Um, we've got a little bit of scoring on uh, the crank journals where the pistons were. Um, it's mainly on number two, number four, number six. Okay, so here we are back at the engine uh, after the battery on the camera ran out. Um, got it pulled apart, got the pistons out, um, there's a couple of them that are burned, uh, number one and number two cylinders specifically are burned pretty bad, um, we've got some bearings that are, uh, bad, We've got some main bearings that are bad. We've got some tappets that are 
um, a little pitted on the surface. Um, now his intention was to uh, is is to replace the cam. We're putting a race cam in it, uh, putting new pistons in it, so we're good at in that in those respects. So uh, we're getting uh, pistons, uh, cam. I'll uh, get new bearings, cleavite bearings for it, um, and. Uh, We'll start putting it back together. Um, I'll try and film it. Uh, I really didn't film tearing the engine apart because it would have been pretty boring. But anyways, um, engine is caked with oil and shit. So um, I'm gonna see if I can find a place that uh, hot dip cleans it. So um, if not, then I'm just gonna be power washing and degreasing um but anyways that's it for right now i'll bring you back when we get uh, further into the project start putting it back together in the parts that we get kind of just shooting a video of this engine uh, i'm gonna pull it off of the engine stand here take it over and power wash it um, but i just kind of wanted to get a brief video of it uh, before I did that Kind of uh, the dirt on it The placement of some things. I'm gonna be pulling these brackets off uh, probably pulling this uh, Oil housing out or maybe not uh, it depends on what I do how I do it But anyways, I just kind of wanted to get a brief overview of the engine before I did that Just wanted to shoot some video. I uh, have been power washing this thing. I started yesterday afternoon and uh, started power washing it, getting uh, all of that grease and dirt and grime off of it. Um, so far it's come out pretty good. Um, it appears that the block was painted blue originally, but um, just so that kind of a brief overview of it, there's still some uh, grease on it, um, dirt, oil. So um, I'm gonna continue doing it probably throughout the day, uh, scrubbing it down, power washing it off. And uh, then it'll, be, it'll probably be uh, ready to be painted uh, if it picks a color. And then um, got the parts ordered pistons, cam, valves, etc. Uh, so those should be probably in in a week or so. Um, Got to order the bearings for today. So get it down, get it back on the stand, maybe start rebuilding it. Uh, bring you back for more. Kind of figured I'd bring you in, just show you a little bit of the power washing.
Just a little overview of the uh, 5 9 Cummins. I painted the block red. Um, gonna paint the um, accessories black, like water pump, um, the P pump, um, the oil filter housing, stuff like that. So it's gonna be black on red. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you a, a shot of it as I was uh, doing it. I, I didn't really want to videotape it, me doing it. The GoPro camera, you got to really get it close to uh, have anything, and I didn't want overspray on the camera. So um, that's where it is. I, I've got the block. I painted. Uh, the bottom side of it and uh, got to put that oil cover housing back on here <clears throat> that's where the filter oil or cooler goes um, I still got to throw another coat on this get some red up in here um, but I've uh, painted the oil filter housing that's over here um, that's black like I was mentioning and then I've got the uh, water pump over here painted black also <clears throat> but I'll uh, I'll bring you back when I start rebuilding it uh, just a little video here on the uh, Cummins 5.9 um, I, I built that uh, block off plate for the mechanical fuel pump because uh, we're getting an electronic fuel pump in it, a uh, Air Dog 165 GPM pump. So the mechanical pump is going away. Um, I had some aluminum stock around, so I actually built one of these uh, block off plates for this thing. Um, what I decided was the uh, red paint and black accents. So here is the uh, oil cooler uh, cover plate and uh, filter housing assembly put on the engine painted black with the red uh, block. So uh, the black accent on the red block. Um, I've got the pump a water pump down there that has been painted black and going to be putting that on uh, but kind of uh, what the video is uh, basically about is I started getting some parts in today uh, there's bearings in this box and uh, uh, the pistons pistons are in this box uh, these are Molly Motorsport pistons um, So I uh, started getting them in, and um, as, as we get all of this stuff together, I will uh, start putting, putting it back together. I mean, as I start getting all the parts in, I will start putting, uh, um, putting the pistons on the uh, rods, the connecting rods. We, d we aren't getting new connecting rods because... Uh, uh, actually, for the horsepower that he wants to produce out of this engine, these connecting rods are going to be um, strong enough. And also, on high performance connecting rods, you actually have to the way they're they're built. Um, you've you've got to kind of machine um, machine part of the rod down to uh, get some oil relief around the crank journal so um, I kind of figured that we stay with a stock rod since he only wants to get around six or seven hundred horsepower out of the engine so um, but anyways kind of a brief video parts are starting to come in uh, starting to come together